Welcome to Journeys with Jason George, episode 14, Inside the Ditch Beaver's Lodge. If you remember from the last episode, I was driving to this spot to look for an owl and I found this ditch beaver. I never realized that a beaver could live in the ditch. And it was so fascinating that I had to go and investigate some more. The best part about this ditch beaver is that it would come out of the water and it would just do its thing. It didn't really seem to even notice me. It was actually really interesting to watch the way that beavers chew on wood. Like, why do they pick certain ones over other ones? And then I was able to actually notice its tail. And I've actually never been able to get this close to a live beaver tail. I didn't realize how scaly it was. It kind of looks like snake skin. I'd taken this boy, and he said it looks like dragon skin. And you know what? It actually kind of does look like dragon skin. Or at least how I picture dragon skin would look. But beavers just chew away at wood and wander around. They're not the most graceful creatures out of water, but they do enjoy the water and they are very graceful inside it. One thing that I noticed about beavers, or at least this beaver, is that grooming seems to be an important part of the day. You got to take care of yourself. You got to look good. And although they spend most of their time in the water, they still like to use the water to make themselves look good. Yeah, and they drink the water. Hmm. I never thought about that, that a beaver would drink water. I guess all that wood makes them thirsty. Hmm. The other thing I've noticed about beavers being this close to them is that they're not really like a brown color. If you get close to them, you'll see that there's sort of a reddy orange tinge to them. Remember when I said that I'm not sure how well a beaver can see you? Well, this picture kind of shows that. It's, I'm pretty sure going for the small one. But maybe it just gets a little bit greedy and it's like, oh, this big one is really, might be better. And it uses its teeth and its hands to figure out, hmm, I've already done that one? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just that they have so many branches and pieces of bark in the water that they just get confused. Because I do know that they like to soak their wood. It, yeah. I guess, makes it a little bit easy for them to chew and gnaw on. It does make sense if you think about it. So when they're trying to get some of this wood, they seem to just reach their hands to the bottom and just sort of pull it into them. And I wonder what the tail is actually made of, because it seems like it's completely dry. Look at it. Even the part that's sitting in the water or has ice on it looks completely dry. As I walked a little bit further, I noticed a beaver swimming. And, wait a second. That one beaver was over there, and this beaver is over here. Wait, is there more than one beaver? This beaver seems to be quite playful. Maybe we should give him a little bit of space. Ah, there you are. Right? When they peek out, they tend to like to hang out right at the edge to inspect and see if it's safe before they actually come out. And then once they know it's safe, they get back to swimming or walking through the trenches that they make. They try to stick to that one trench because this one trench is a little bit deeper and easier for them to move through. And they've taken some of the dirt and the twigs to their house for food and warmth in the wintertime. That's part of how 
they're able to move so easily. They're actually very gifted engineers and architects. Well, maybe not architects. Have you ever been inside a beaver lodge? I haven't. But, you know what? Maybe we'll be able to get inside this gutter. Oh, here we go. This doesn't seem like the greatest den for the winter time. But I bet you there's a bigger space out there. But this is what it looks like inside the culvert. That's a beaver on the far side of it. And there's just a whole bunch of twigs and branches. Well, <coughs> oh, here he is coming out. Oh, there's actually two of them. Do you see that? Wow, that's so cool. This beaver is so close and just doing its thing. Every time I've seen a beaver before, it's sort of swimming away from me. But these beavers, these ditch beavers, they don't even seem to notice that I'm here. And just do go about doing their thing. Wait a second. That's one beaver. And that's another beaver. How many beavers are there? There were two over by the culvert. And there's two over here. Whoa. Maybe this is a family of beavers. I thought there was just one. Look at all this work they do. Just sometimes it's for a small stick, it seems. One thing that's for sure is that beavers do love to swim. And they're way more graceful in the water than on land. I know that this creek isn't the deepest, but you know what? It's still great to see them and watch them swim. And I wonder if they enjoy the fresh air on their faces or they'd rather be inside the den. Well, I guess there's nobody here, so they must enjoy the fresh air on their face. It is fairly mild today, so can't really blame them. I wonder how good their vision is underwater. Is it different than the vision that they have above water? It would be pretty cool to be able to see underwater. But yeah, that'd be something. I always am afraid to open my eyes underwater. I know some people do it, but I always have to use goggles. But I love seeing things underwater. Hmm, back out of water. I wonder what draws them to certain trees. I know they seem to like the red ones over other ones. And, oh, you need to get that one, eh? Oh. Maybe they are specific about which ones they want. Oh, well, I guess that one got away. Oh, well, this one will do, I guess. See, it doesn't really seem like they care too much about which branch they get. Oh, back into the ditch we go. Yep. Oh, there you are. So, I don't think that they really use this culvert as their home. I think it's more of a resting spot. I'd love to know where their actual lodge is. But, outside of the culvert, they seem to just be stocking up. Maybe their food supply ran out from their winter storage. Because they have to spend fall and summer sort of stocking up their food as they store the leaves and branches under the water so that they can feed. With spring coming, they're probably just running short so they're coming out. This might have an impact on why I'm having such a cool experience. When beavers attack. Nope. Oh, I guess he was afraid of me. Saw my face and just ducked underwater. Oh, there you are. Oh, and there you are. One on land, one in the water. And another one just eating some twigs. It seems like they spend a lot of their day either eating twigs or swimming to eat twigs. Man, I wonder how many twigs a beaver actually needs to eat to survive. 
I guess seeing a solitude ditch beaver is one thing, but beavers seem to enjoy family time or hanging out with their friends. They might not be like sitting and talking to each other, but they're definitely like that connection with other beavers. And as the weather warms up, they seem to be coming more and more out of their den or their lodge or their culvert. They honestly seem to not care about me. They just go about doing their thing. I know that they know I'm here, but I honestly don't think I'm having an impact on how they're living. They just sort of do their thing. This one just wants this specific log. Or I guess it's not a log right now, it's just a baby sapling. But. Look at how quickly and easily it just gnaws through this almost nickel size branch. Yeah, they have a little bit of an issue dealing with getting it from the forest sometimes, but they'll get their branch there. If it's too big, they'll cut it into smaller pieces. And they must... Oh, nope, that's just ice. Don't worry, buddy. It's okay. Maybe they don't like when textures change. Oh. Bye bye, buddy. You you left your branch. Oh, maybe it wasn't good enough for right now. And you, oh, you're gone. Oh. Look at how easily they can move through this pathway. And I guess they're in search of a new twig or branch. So one thing I learned as a kid is that you should never drink the water that beavers are swimming in or that they poop in because there's something called beaver fever or gardenia. You can see the beaver poop that's actually floating behind this beaver. I've never actually seen beaver poop before this ditch beaver experience. It's similar to others, but it's, some of it seems to float, but it's a much lighter color. I guess it's probably a little woody from all that wood and twigs that they eat. What I've noticed in this situation is that they'll eat little small ones completely. They'll shave big tree branches or trunks down and drop them and then they'll take the smaller branches and just eat the bark off of them. I wonder how they choose and the crazy part is how quickly that they can just destroy a twig or a branch or strip it of its bark. I think there's actually like six beavers in this culvert or ditch. Let's watch what happens when the beavers meet up. It's actually interesting. I'm not sure if they're all family and friends. This one was noticed swimming down the river and then it met up and... Oh! Something just happened. I'm not sure what that means in beaver mannerisms, but... The one that approached those two definitely did something to disturb them. They seem friendly enough as he's allowed to get close. Or maybe it was just a shiver and it was just happened to be bad timing. But maybe they don't get along. Who knows? They still seem to hang out close to each other. And I'm noticing that tails are different colors too, not just have different markings. Oh, let's watch this guy take down the tree branch. Yep, after swimming, maybe he's offering it to his buddies. Nope, I guess that one wasn't good enough. Oh, it's frustrating when the branches get stuck in other branches must be a tough thing for beavers to deal with. I don't know if they know which ones won't get stuck. Maybe that's why they'll trim the branches off of a good tree trunk. So that there's less things getting stuck as they try to pull it through. Well, this one looks a little bit better and tasty, so I guess it'll have to do. And we now walk it over to a 
nice spot that's comfortable for them to eat and get comfy and then repeat what we've been doing all day just start gnawing away at the branches <coughs> we probably want to make it a little bit smaller so it's easier for us to control and eat but it is what it is and hey sometimes when you get that big tree or that really good tree it's gonna be a battle to get it in you can see this one here has actually decided not to give up and it was just pulling and yanking and trying to get its branch into the water. As we go to walk away, we notice something in the river. Oh, it's a river beaver, not a ditch beaver, maybe. Well, let's find out more next time. Until then, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the wildlife. Like, share, subscribe.